YouTube. My name is Eve the Weed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I just wanted I was looking at YouTube today and I see that the Coffee City did basically an interview with Wiley on Station Head on his show. And I'm gonna be real. I don't like none of the shit that Wiley said about Mob Radio. You have a serious fucking problem, my dude. You really do, Wiley. You are disgusting. Very disgusting. And you sit up there and you say, oh, I don't have no problems with Mob Radio. I don't have no problems with Mob Radio. And then you go and spread lies about Mob Radio. You are on station head. People are listening to you. The lies that you spread about Mob Radio does not make no sense. Can you hear me or not? Because um, sometimes this doesn't work. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can, yeah, I can hear it's low, but I can hear you. Can y'all hear her? Let me know if y'all can hear her. Hello? Oh, they say yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Hi, Wiley. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Um... So, I got some questions to ask you. Now, I'm a fan of yours, right? Because you're super funny. People, like, people make comments like, oh, Wiley is messy or whatever. But I think Wiley is just, you're hilarious. So, I just want to let you know that. But you are messy, too, though. You are. <laughs> so... I think, I think we. What's I think in order to do a show for black folks, black folks like mess. They like to be entertained. Let's be clear. Look at my dear new movie. It wasn't the best movie of, of writing. I would say a, a good script, but it made black folks laugh. If you can be. If you can make black folks ma- laugh, you could. You it, you could be a little shitty, and they say, "Well, this shit is entertaining." Right. Right. So you are entertaining, so I have to give you that. Um, and I always say this, it doesn't matter if you're like a smaller um, content creator, you're still relevant. You're relevant because people are still talking about you. Like when there's drama going on, you usually like the page that are my Wiggins, um, my radio Tasha K used to go to. Remember that? You know, everyone used to. No, yes, we remember that, Coffee City. Yes, you know why everybody goes to his page? Everybody goes to his page because Wiley says a lot of shit. And then when everybody start calling in to, you know, basically speak to him about the shit that he says, it seems like it's a whole live. And then now his show is lit. Wiley gets off on spilling mess. That's why everybody goes to his page. He, He don't solve nothing he don't solve not a damn thing let's just keep it all the way a stack mob radio never did nothing to wiley mob radio brought that nigga a bed to lay his head on and now he's being disrespectful let's just be clear to go to you to you know have certain conversations so when people make comments like oh wiley is not relevant he's not this yes he is Yes, he is. But um, I just want to know what's going on with you and my radio. Like, are you guys ever going to, like, be cool again? Me and my radio is actually okay. Uh, I think she got in her feelings when I said the podcast never happened. Now, since I've said that, you know, Tory Lane said he's going to do a... You think she got in her feelings because you said the podcast never happened? You really think that Millie is sitting over there worrying about what you over there saying about her? You really think that she got in her feelings because of that? Please, you probably not the only one that never said that. But she gonna keep it fucking pushing and keep doing what she gotta do. Y'all sitting up there waiting for some shit to fail. That's your problem. And that's why you ain't gonna never happen. And y'all see the title on his station head. Amon Wiggins is not my friend. You know why Amon Wiggins is not his friend, Coffee City? Amon Wiggins is not his friend because Wiley does little messy shit on YouTube and want everybody to be his friend. That's why nobody's not his friend. This is why nobody wants to work with him. Because he is messy. 
You cannot come over here on Station Head and think that everybody is not listening when people are listening because that's what you want them to do. And then when it gets done, now everybody talking about it. And when people confront you, now you want to have an attitude. A, a, a sit down interview with cameras, makeup, hair and makeup uh, for mm-hmm. her. Because I was very, I was very critical. Because I said, you know, she's been defending this, 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 this abuser. Uh, I call him a, a, a shooter, a pinky toe shooter, and oh um, my gosh. and she never got the podcast. She got the man's daddy, but the daddy is old. Um, and that's you no, know when, when, is, when is the when is the Toy Lanes podcast going to happen? And so I was the first one to break that story. And people were like, man, Wiley, you right? When is that podcast? Wiley. Why are you worrying about Millie and when her podcast is going to happen and when Tory Lanez is going to work with her and when the daddy going to work for her again? And why are you worrying about what Millie's doing? Why don't you worry about what the Wiley show needs to be doing? Worry about not being so goddamn messy. Worry about getting people to come over there and talk to you. Maybe if, if you stop being so messy, people will come over there and really talk to you. People talk to Marv Radio. She don't have Mickey Minaj on her shit. You shaded her. Tori Lane's daddy go up there, you shade her. She says she gonna get a podcast for Tori Lane's, you shade her. She buy you a motherfucking bed for you to lay on, you shade her. You just a shady ass nigga, and this is why she don't fuck with you no more. Because if you go back, he said DJ Academics and Malago Grams and myself gonna when I say myself, I'm talking about Tory Lanez. Go do a podcast. DJ Agnes. Yeah, you talking about yeah, you talking about Tory Lanez because you damn sure ain't talking about yourself because ain't nobody mentioning you because you ain't in no conversations. And that's the problem with you. You need to go get your own conversation and create your own shit with your own with, with your own channel. Why are you worrying about what somebody else is over there doing? Or in their channel. Or in their um station head. Why are you worrying about what people come over there to Millie shit? Why are you worrying about Millie so much? Why are you on her dick so much? You can get off of it. Let me say, you know what? This is way too long. I'm going to go ahead and do my own shit, do my own podcast. I ain't got time to wait. So that's the only thing I said. And, you know, she's a woman. And, you know, women are emotional beings. So they get so emotional. And so I told her, I said, hey, I'm not going to get on your live. And for you can cuss me up. Why would Millie get emotional? About what? Why? You're not even allowed over there on her live. You don't even need to go over there. What you need to go over there for? She hear everything you saying. Because everybody gonna talk about it. People like me, people like Coffee City, we gonna fucking talk about it. Yeah. I'm mobbed up for life. Yeah. I, I, I fucks with Millie. But I, I notice how you keep talking about her. Every episode, nigga, you talk about her. You talk about her mom Wiggins. You talk about her. You just talking. To hear yourself talk. For what, though? For you can bring in numbers like that through their name? Because that's what you're doing. If we cuss out each other, I will have a conversation with your husband. Because me and that brother can have a conversation. We can cuss each other out on the line. But I- Didn't I tell you before that her husband ain't thinking about you? I could have sworn I told you a couple of videos back that her husband is not thinking about you. They laugh at you. Like she said, did she? you wanted her to fly you out. You said no. You said you was going to drive. You ain't get there yet, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Millie is not thinking about you, Wiley. Please go have a seat. Matter of fact, come to New York because we got two stadiums. Yeah, two stadiums. Two Yankee stadiums. You can go have a seat in, in the old one. It's like a whole stadium. You can just go sit everywhere in the, all the seats, nigga. Like what? Boy, bye. I'd be a fool to get on the line and cuss out a black woman because I know how black women are. Look how he is with black women. I said, sister, I don't want to cuss you. I want to have a conversation with your husband. And she said, um, I will fly you out to Houston. I said, you don't have to fly me out. If your <laughs> husband want to have a conversation, uh, we can sit down and, and have a conversation, have a big, beautiful, big breakfast. But if you're why, not willing to why, bring your husband why? to the table, I, I'm not going to sit there and talk to you because bring your husband. <laughs> Why would she bring her husband? You know he's not like a content creator, so because again, that's a husband, that's a man. Why I would say to that husband, why you want to so argue with Wiley? Let me talk to Wiley. I'm I'm I'm, I'm the husband. We can have you know this this dialogue. So if you want to talk to her husband so bad, Wiley, why you keep calling my radio name? Why you just don't find out his name and call his name every time? 
You know why you're not going to call his name? Because Millie name on YouTube bring you more numbers, nigga. You already know her husband is not a creator. You already know that. Her husband is not into this. So why you keep calling Millie name, but yet you want to sit there and act like you want to talk to her husband? You don't want to talk to her fucking husband. You just want to drag Millie name through these YouTube and station head streets so you can bring your fucking numbers up. For so people like me in Coffee City can talk to you. But see, it ain't but so much I can say. I'm, I'm going to bring my motherfucking numbers up. You better believe that and we're going to talk about it. But you is disrespectful. You a disrespectful ass nigga. You a bitch ass nigga. And that's why I said what I said when she said she brought you a bed. I said, why the fuck you do that? That's exactly why I said that. She have left that nigga on the motherfucking flow. And so that's what I was, that's what I was talking about because I didn't want to uh, get on there and 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 cuss this woman out because I know how women are. They're gonna say, "Oh, look at this man cussing out this woman. He don't have this energy for a man." And the first thing I said when she said, "I'm gonna fly you down to Houston," I said, "No, Houston is only a four hour drive. I can just easily drive to Houston, and um, and I can meet up with your <laughs> husband. We can have a conversation over a steak dinner and just talk about it." And I want to know, how do you feel with Tory Lanez? And I want to ask the husband some very good questions that I, I don't know if he's willing to answer. And then again, they probably have orgies. They probably have our orgies. And no, they so don't. He probably wouldn't even care. Disgusting. Disgusting, my nigga. You are disgusting. You are the people that people d d like to talk about. Why are you sitting up there saying all that about Millie and her fucking husband like you know that girl personally like that? After she don't book you a fucking bed to lay your fucking head on. You, and this is why karma is something else. This is why Tasha K is never going to fucking work with you. You think she working with you. She not really working with you, nigga. Uh -huh. She not working with you. She not working with you. Amar Wiggins is not working with you. Millie not working with you. Jason Lee not working with you. No, nobody's not. Nobody's working with Wiley. Because you are um, the messiest nigga on YouTube now. You have become the mess, nigga. You are disgusting. How dare you sit up there and sit up there and talk about that woman in her marriage like that? But then sit up there and say, I don't want to get on here and curse out no black woman. What? Yeah. I leave. Why? Okay. I What I want to say is, right? Okay. My radio, um, Milagro Grimm's been working hard. You know, you know, my radio been outside. She used to do like long hours live and, you know, she used to be outside with her people. So he know because every time Millie would get off from her motherfucking live, he would go live right after her and have some of the same topics she had and say some of the same shit she did. Why? Because he was all up and through the live listening in the bushes and shit. So yeah, he yeah, he knew. He knew exactly what the he knew Millie was outside because he was outside too with his sneaky ass. But she's been working hard to get where she at now. That's why Tori decided to work with her. And as far Tori as Lays, the whole... I agree. I agree with you mm -hmm. on that. But also, Tori Lanez can be trusted because he will fuck some pussy in a second. He had fucked Tori. He, I mean, he had fucked Megan. And also, he had fucked Kelsey. So, no, okay, but what would like, say him not fucking Milagro Grams? So, no, he wouldn't. And I would say to the husband, why, how would you feel having this man that that got two women fighting off his dick? So will no, you? No, listen, listen. It's a difference, right? Because he got connected to Millie because of her job, because of what she's doing, right? With Megan, you can tell it was a different situation. They wasn't working together. Megan and um. Tory Lanez have not done music together. So that was a whole different vibe. So he was able to sleep with Megan and her friends. With Millie, he found out about Millie with her working and doing like, you know, like a podcast and defending him. And I just want to say this before, and it's not like I'm just here defending um Millie or whatever. I'm just saying I've been following all of you guys. And before she defended um, Tory Lanez, she been on um Megan asked like she been like questioning certain things that Megan was doing so the whole situation with Tory Lanez was just like the icing on the cake you get what I mean so 
Exactly. He sees exactly what you mean, Coffee City. But let me tell you something. Wiley is just a bitch ass nigga. Wiley likes to do things for numbers. He's a shock value ass nigga. This is why Amon said he didn't want to fuck with him. You already know the history. I don't even know why you even want to be trying to. I, I don't understand. Like, why? Because I, I can't. If I got to go on Wiley's show, I, I have to say so, I can't. Oh, it's not like she's going around defending Tory Lanez. Let me tell you, the music vibe is right. He would definitely fuck Milano Grams in her ass and get her pregnant. Period. Period. Point blank. Then her husband doing a video on the Wiley show because him and Milano Grams getting a divorce. And I'm gonna be the first one to say, "See, I told you, I told you, be watching out for that." Disgusting. These are the type of niggas that'll sit back and wait for your downfall. You heard what he just said. He said, and then her husband will be up on my show, and I'll be sitting up there telling him, I told you so. I told you so. I don't trust that nigga. I told you so. You are the type of nigga that nobody need to work with, be around, or none of that shit. You the type of nigga that'll sit up there, and, like I said, and wait for a person downfall. Coffee City, you good, sis, because let me tell you something. I've been no curse while the fuck out. Because that right there is totally disgusting. How dare you sit up there and say you don't want to curse no sister out because you don't want to disrespect no black woman. But then you get up on stage your head and that's exactly what the fuck you did. You disrespected Millie and her marriage and her kids. Why? For some numbers? For shock value? And it, it, it doesn't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Coffee City, get away from his bitch ass. Yeah, get, 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 get from over there. Get from over there. Get from over there, boo. Get from over there. I see what she was doing. But get from over there, baby. Because Wiley's, this is what Wiley do. Go on my channel. Let's show through the videos. Wiley's always been a bitch. So get from over there, baby. Yeah, you don't need to be over there wallowing with the pigs. Because, you know, you get up dirty and shit. They like mud and shit. Wiley likes to be in the mud. He's a pig. Get from over there. My name is Eve the Weave. Please like, share, and subscribe. Wiley, you're a combo.